The Three Bears, Blondie and Their Spaghetti by Melissa M. Birch, illustrated by Tina Henop Reader. One evening, a family of bears sat down to eat supper. Papa took one bite and let out a loud squeal. That's way too hot! All three bears agreed they needed to let their spaghetti cool. Baby Bear had an idea. He suggested, let's go for a bike ride. After the three bears pulled out of their driveway, Blondie, the neighbourhood's favourite kidpreneur, arrived at their doorstep. She was going door to door, selling everything from cookies to gizmos and gadgets. She knocked three times, accidentally pushing the door open. She called out, Hello, is anyone home? I'm selling the world's best chocolate chip cookies, wrapping paper and anything else you might need. That's when it happened. She smelled the most magical, garlicky, tomatoey, basily aroma ever. Her tummy rumbled. What was a girl to do? As she followed her nose, she found herself in front of Papa Bear's plate of spaghetti. She took one bite and it was too spicy. It must have been Italian sausage, she thought. Then she tried Mama Bear's spaghetti. It was too sweet. It must have been made with honey, she thought. Last, she tried Baby Bear's spaghetti. It was perfect. There was just the right amount of garlic, tomato and basil with a dash of salt. She ate it all up. Blondie was full and sleepy. She needed to rest and digest. Blondie went to the living room and sat in Papa Bear's chair. It was rock hard. Then she sat in Mama Bear's chair, but it was too springy. Then she sat in Baby Bear's chair, and it was just right, until one leg wobbled and split in half, and Blondie tumbled to the ground. Blondie thought, maybe the bedroom would be better. Papa's bed was big and firm, fit for a king. Mama's bed was soft and squishy, fit for a queen. Baby Bear's bed was just right for Blondie. She fell fast asleep. The three bears returned home with grumbling tummies, and they couldn't believe their eyes when they saw the front door was wide open. Someone has been in our home, said Papa Bear. What a mess, the kitchen, the table, the floor, Mama Bear screeched. Who could it be, Baby Bear wondered. Papa Bear said, somebody ate my spaghetti. Mama Bear said, someone has eaten my spaghetti. Baby Bear said, someone ate my spaghetti and it's all gone. The three bears investigated a trail of noodles leading to the living room. Papa Bear said, someone's been in my chair. Mama Bear said, someone has been in my chair. Baby Bear cried, someone was in my chair and they broke it to pieces. Just then, the three bears could hear a soft snoring coming from the bedroom. The sound led them to Baby Bear's bed, where they found Blondie fast asleep. The evidence was all over her face. Noodles, sauce and basil were smeared all over. There was no denying she was the intruder. The snoring and her messy spaghetti sauce face were so silly. The three bears started to laugh and laugh until Mama Bear let out a loud snort. And they laughed even louder, waking Blondie up. You really enjoyed our spaghetti, said Mama Bear, still giggling. Feeling guilty, Blondie said, I'm sorry for letting myself in, eating your spaghetti, making a big mess, breaking your chair and drooling on your pillow. I will make it up to you, I have an idea. Let's jar and sell your family's spaghetti sauce recipe, Blondie announced excitedly. That's a great idea, but let's get this place cleaned up first, laughed Mama Bear. Blondie followed Mama Bear to the family garden. There they picked fresh tomatoes, herbs and onions for their secret family spaghetti sauce. Then Mama Bear and Blondie gathered in the kitchen along with Papa Bear and Baby Bear. Together they washed and chopped the vegetables and herbs and simmered the sauce to perfection. Blondie helped pour the sauce into jars and Baby Bear stuck the labels on. After a hard day's work, Blondie and the three bears sold enough jars of spaghetti sauce to replace the broken chair and buy a new pillow for Baby Bear, and they made a huge pot of spaghetti to share with the whole neighbourhood. The three bears and Blondie lived happily ever after in the best-smelling neighbourhood in all the land. <laughs>